Occlusions are a fundamental problem that limits the amount of information conveyed by the visual interface during the exploration of 3D scenes. One common approach for overcoming occlusion is based upon interactive navigation. The user is expected to navigate the view around the occluders to search for regions of interest. Such sequential exploration is inefficient as empty regions have to be eliminated one at a time. In the case of dynamic scenes, regions of interest are missed if they shift or disappear by the time the user reaches them. The challenges of sequential navigation are alleviated by a visual interface with multiple views. However, such an interface has its own limitations. First, a large number of views are needed to achieve a comprehensive coverage of the scene. Second, there is considerable redundancy between views. This leads to difficult disambiguation between similar objects and objects imaged multiple times. Third, the visualization is discontinuous at the borders of individual images. A dynamic object has a discontinuous screen trajectory as it moves from one view to the next. The user cannot easily monitor all images in parallel and has to adapt sequentially to each one of the multitude of contexts. In this paper, we investigate and quantify the potential benefits of the graph camera in the context of 3D scene exploration. The graph camera is a flexible multi-perspective visualization framework that overcomes the challenges of traditional multi-view visualization. Here, a simple graph camera enhances a conventional image with an additional viewpoint to sample the lateral corridor through the portal. Here, the graph camera construction proceeds recursively until the entire maze is sampled. The resulting visualization provides a comprehensive, non-redundant, and continuous integration of tens of viewpoints. We conducted a user study that involved 47 subjects who performed three typical exploration tasks. In the first type of task, the subject was asked to find a stationary or moving object through interactive navigation using either a conventional camera or a portal-based graph camera. The additional viewpoints provided by the graph camera reduced search time on average 28%. In a second task, the subjects were asked to count stationary or moving objects using either a comprehensive matrix of 4x4 conventional images or a comprehensive graph camera image. How many objects are present in the maze? The correct answer is 7. There are three objects with the same color, and several objects appear in more than one image. The comprehensive graph camera image is non-redundant, which greatly simplifies the counting task. For the matrix visualization, the task becomes even more difficult when objects move. Continuous mapping of 3D space to screen provided by the graph camera makes the task tractable. On average, counting accuracy was 91% for the graph camera visualization versus just 42% for the matrix visualization. Like any multi-perspective imaging technique, the graph camera disoccludes at the cost of perturbing global spatial relationships. We took a first step towards investigating the impact of distortion with a third type of task. Here the subject was first shown an animation rendered along a random path using either a conventional camera or a portal based graph camera. The subject was then asked to recognize the path. Subject performance was virtually identical in both conditions, indicating that the additional viewpoints were not hindering the user in the path matching task. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first study exploring the benefits of multi-perspective visualization in the context of scene exploration. The results indicate that, for some tasks, multi-perspective visualization brings sizable benefits. We advocate that the information throughput of the visual interface can greatly increase if the traditional rigidity of the underlying camera model is abandoned in favor of designing and dynamically optimizing the camera based upon the application and the 3D scene at hand.